Philippines. Pilot for the tourist flight is Dr. Nitha, along with the co-pilot Rashri and the crew member Muskan. I hope you all are excited, right? So yes. over to you, Dr. Nitha. Hello, thank you so much. Hello, guests. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. How are you? Fine, ma'am. I, I am. I am. I am perfectly good. Thank you. So excited for today's tour to Philippines. Yes or no? Yes, Philippines. Yes. 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 Right. yes, there is. All right. So let's start with the tour then. Okay, so first of all, Philippines is an island country. So that is why there is a lot of marine life, right, Abir? Yes. Yes. So it is an island country of the Southeast Asia in the Western Pacific Ocean. It is an archipelago consisting of some 7,100 islands. Too many islands, aren't they? And islets lying about 500 miles, that is 800 kilometer off the coast of Vietnam. Manila is the capital. So it is the capital of Philippines. And the nearby Quezon City is the country's most populous city. So if you see Manila, which is the capital of Philippines, it is not the most populous city. The most popular city there in Philippines is Quezon City. Both are part of the national capital region, that is the Metro Manila, located on Luzon, the largest island. The second largest island of the Philippines is Mindanao in the southeast. All right. Now, the Philippines takes its name from Philip II, Philip the II, or the second, who was king. So he was the king of Spain. He was the ruler of Spain. So there, you know, from there, Philippines got its name. So he was the king of Spain during the Spanish colonization of the islands in the 16th century. Because it was under Spanish rule for 333 years and under U.S. tutelage for a further 48 years. So that amounts to how much? 333 plus 48. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. Someone. What? Are in old? 333 years. 381. That's great. Okay. So the Philippines has many cultural affinities with the West. So because of what? Because of the Spanish rule for 333 years. And after that, it was under US tutelage for more 48 years. So because of that, Philippines has many cultural affinities with the West. So it is much, you know, much related to the Western culture. It is, for example, the second most populous Asian country with English as an official language and one of the only two predominantly Roman Catholic countries in Asia. We'll see it again. For example, it is the most second most populous Asian country with English as an official language and one of the only two predominantly Roman Catholic countries countries in the whole of Asia. Despite the prominence of such Anglo-European cultural characteristics, the people of the Philippines are Asian in consciousness and aspirations. Now the capital, so we've already seen this, Manila is the capital and the chief city. And which one is the most popular city? Yes. Which one is the most popular city? Um, Manila. No, Manila is not the most popular city. Kyo something. Yes, yes, yes. Very yes, good. Yes, so, something Kuzon. called Kyo. This here. Q-U-E-Z-O-N. Kyuzon city. See here in the picture? Yes. yes. This is the country's most populous city. Now, Manila, it is, is the center of the country's economic Please, please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. 
thank you yeah so it is the center of the country's economic political social and cultural activity so it is the center of all these activities which one manila which is the capital of philippines it is located on the island of luzon and spread along the eastern shore of manila bay at the mouth of the pasig river um ma'am yes roita yes uh, rangel is sending messages to me personally uh yes rangel any issue or uh, she send that hi rohita where are you from okay <laughs> all right okay so you can maybe you know uh, chat later on yes pranjal because i don't even know about her okay no problem no problem she might she be just trying to you know be friends with you she 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 asked me also yesterday okay okay no issue no issue okay so where is it located where is manila located it is located on the island of luzon and is spread along the eastern shore of what the eastern shore of manila bay which is at the mouth of the pasig now the national flag of philippines the national flag of philippines is a horizontal bicolored flag see there are many things in this flag so we'll have to focus here okay Okay, hey, we'll understand easily. Don't worry. So the national flag of the Philippines is a horizontal bi-colored flag. So if you see here, it's blue here and red here. Fine. So there are two colors here, with equal bands of royal blue and crimson red, with a white equilateral triangle at the hoist. So this is the equilateral triangle, where at the hoist, from the place we hoist the flag. Okay. in the center of the triangle is a golden yellow sun here this is the sun with eight primary rays now what are these rays of the sun these sun rays what are these you know representing or denoting they are denoting eight different provinces there okay at each vertex of the triangle is a five pointed golden yellow star so at you know each of the vertex here one two and three okay so there is a five pointed golden yellow star now what is this showing each of which representing one of the country's three main island groups so which are they luzon the visayas and mindanao so these stars are representing what the island the three main island groups then there is this blue color and red color and other than that this white color and this sun with eight primary rays showing what the eight provinces there yes clear now the white triangle at the flag represents liberty equality and fraternity a unique feature yes this is a very interesting feature here of this flag is its usage to indicate a state of war if it is displayed with the red side on the top getting it so if this red side here if this is on the top and blue is at the bottom that means what there is a state of war there okay so which is effectively achieved by flipping the flag upside down okay now the currency of philippines so it is called the philippine peso philippine peso yes philippine peso so the php or you know this php is what the abbreviation for this philippine peso it is the yeah. currency abbreviation or the currency symbol for the philippine peso just similar to this inr indian national rupee the same way it's philippine peso here so one philippine peso is equal to how many indian rupees it's just 1.53 indian national almost rupees. almost 2 rupees almost 2 rupees yes now the language the official languages the two official languages of philippines which are they filipino, filipino and, and english. english yes and filipino is the national language there so official languages are filipino and english and the national language is filipino now the climate the climate of the philippines is tropical and strongly monsoon that is wet dry in general the rain bearing winds blow from southwest 
from approximately May to October and drier winds come from the northeast okay from November to February the dry season generally begins in December and ends in May the first 3 months being cool and the other 3 months the last 3 months or the second 3 months are hot so the first 3 months are cool the second 3 months are hot but the rest of the year constitutes the wet season so that is monsoonal strongly monsoonal the temperatures here remain relatively constant from north to south during the year and the season consists of periods of wet and dry now who is the president of philippines it's rodrigo duterte the national sport there is arnis so this was declared as the philippine national martial art and sport on december 11th 2009 so this arnis thing yes sarika and can you show that prime minister slide yeah sure here it is it's the president not the prime minister Oh, thank you. Most welcome. So, uh, guess this Arnis thing. This is actually a form of martial art, and this is done with you know sticks and bladed tools. All these things are used. Okay, so this Arnis was declared almost, as this. Yes, Sabir. Almost looks like almost looks like boxing with a stick. uh not really but uh, yeah it's a kind of fight you know it's a kind of combat so you yeah. can say that just for it's your it's like martial arts with swords yeah actually it is martial art it is a form of martial art good i can practice that too now let's come to the cuisine part of philippines so the first one is adobo that is what chicken pork or both served in a garlic stew with vinegar and soy sauce as a base it is arguably the national dish of the philippines so what is the arguably national dish of philippines that is what adobo adobo right now bicol express or sinilihan so this has been named after the passenger train there and is one of the famous bicol dishes it is pork or pig intestine slow cooked in coconut milk vinegar and some spices the next one is bopis so this has originated from batangas it is actually a chopped pig heart and lungs and is usually served spicy the next one chopped is lungs and heart yes you know there they can eat anything <laughs> to be on Under our imagination. So the fourth one is durong salanga. Yes, yes. Sorry, I could not hear that. They eat pigs. Yes, they do. <laughs> In fact, the national dish there, the arguably national dish, it consists of pork or chicken or both, maybe. So now the burong talanga it is a filipino version of caviar using the eggs of talanga which is actually a small crab please mute yourself i'm getting a bit of disturbance thank you caviar now the caviar, next uh, i mean small crabs are not the best thing if she, if you are not a fan of eating meat and seafood oh yeah okay fine thank you for the update abir See, I'm not really, you know, much updated about non-vegetarian food since I am a pure vegetarian. So I really don't know much about that. But thanks for the update. Even I am a pure vegetarian. Oh yeah, still you have that knowledge. That's good. Awesome. So the next one is calamari. This is a fried shrimp or squid wrapped up in breading. What? Bread? Yes, breading. uh you know you can call it like maybe what do have what do we have at india like that egg roll type of thing something like that how can it be how can it be wrapped up in bread i don't know bread i told I, i just told you i just told you they can do anything it's beyond our imagination so you know it is possible okay so the last one is cameron rebusado 
it is the filipino version of tempura now i'm not really sure what this tempura is but it is a filipino version of even that these sound like okay. traditional names more than the food yeah actually maybe they are based on some you know unique things there now the airlines of philippines which are the airlines there why is this ship one of puerto rico just a minute guess give me a minute please Oops, it got stuck somewhere, I guess. Okay, what else she spoke about? Shrimp wrap, shrimp or squid wrap in breading is the fun. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, that also. I like your mustache, Prakar. <laughs> Man, virtual. I know, I know, I can see that. So you. Ah uh, <laughs> yes. So the PPT is back. Yay. Let's move ahead. So here is the airlines of Philippines. Oh, sorry again. Yeah. So the airlines of Philippines. I'm really sorry, guess there's something you know wrong with the thing. Okay, I'll show you a video instead. Okay, I'll show you a beautiful video instead. Yes, ma'am. No worries. Sometimes the system hangs. Mine hangs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the same thing Thank happened so when I wanted to. The same thing happened when I wanted to show a presentation on Mexico. Okay, okay. Ma'am, okay. may I tell one fact? Yes, please. Yes, Prakha. Tell me. Um, uh, I have some facts to share at the end of the PPT. Okay. Yes, please go ahead. Um. So, like the durian fruit they talked about, it's actually mm -hmm. also the national fruit of Indonesia, and it smells pretty bad, but it tastes really nice. Okay. Then uh, it's one of the Philippines is one of the most influential countries in the world. Then the three of the ten largest shopping malls in the world are located in Philippines. Wow. Okay. The world's largest pearl was di uh, discovered by a Filipino diver in the Palawan Sea. It's worth okay. one million, uh, one hundred million by the way. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Really good facts. Thank you, Prakar. Okay, somebody else has also raised hand. Um. Me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Abir. Yes. Chocolate Hills is a very funny name for something that doesn't have to do with chocolate. Yeah, I was actually expecting that from you. You know. Yes, even I, you know, found it very funny. Even when you know it has nothing to do with chocolate word, but maybe just because of that brown color, it's called chocolate hill. So that's okay. And um, looking at that, uh, I I see the 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 those two places where uh, you could see turtles. It almost looked like turtles yeah. are the most common there. Yeah, it looked like you're right. And I love sea. And what a word! Yes, even I love sea. Yes. Who else? Arika. Yes, ma'am. I was just saying that this place is so nice that I was just continuing, continuously taking screenshots of it, and now my OneDrive is so heavy now that it is just paused. Oh God. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes, Anj. Ma'am, the um, Philippines is the fifth largest country which have the islands. Oh yeah. Fifth, yes, ma'am. Fifth largest country for island. All right. Fine. Thank you for this update again. Ah, uh, who else? Who else? All done with the facts. 
Rohita, ma'am, which country are we going to meet tomorrow? So, Rohita is always excited for this. So, that is, you know, something which I will not be telling you. Over to Divya, ma'am. Or Rajshri, ma'am. Okay, so Muskan will update you on this. Okay, Muskan. So, we will visit Poland. And you have to search about the facts. Is it Poland? Hello? Is it Poland? Yeah. Yeah, so Anyone Monday, to make presentation will, for Monday? Yeah, Monday we will visit Poland and if anyone wants to make presentation, so you can make. Okay, so Rohita. All right. Anyone else want to participate? Hi. Arika? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, we will visit Poland on Monday. So, you have to search about the facts. So, bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, bye everyone. Take bye. care. Bye, ma'am. Have a good day.